Hello people, welcome to Valorant Tips and Tricks. Let's get right into it. Are you tired of dying to post plant lineups on Icebox? Well, I got you covered. Well, if the enemy plants the spike right over here, right on this rope, that's a bad thing for them. Because by simply attaching yourself to this rope, you're able to defuse the spike from an elevated position where your feet do not touch the ground. This means that any mollies that land right on the spike do absolutely no damage to you. Tova shock darts though, that's a different story. Let's stay here on Icebox and there's this spot that's been exposed by multiple people on TikTok recently. With Omen at the start of the round, you can take the rope up here. From here, you look up there with your TP and TP onto that platform over there. Now this gives you an insanely strong off angle since the enemies have to flick so high up just to be able to get you. This might count as bug abuse though, so do be careful when using this one. And yes, yes, you can also do this with Jet, so... Yeah! On to the next one. Are you tired of dying to an op on rafters all the time? Or you're just tired that your teammates keep dying to the exact same op on rafters all the time? Whatever the case may be, I got a viper orb just for you. Go right over here onto this corner where the barriers are right before the round begins. Look up and place your crosshair right there on the top right tip of that gray area right up there. It's pretty obvious when I show it to my crosshair. Take out your orb and do a running throw. This orb lands right there on rafters and blocks off any op beakers. You're welcome. Speaking of smokes, x-ray vision through them isn't exactly a thing in Valorant, but here's the next best thing. Apparently, you can use Omen's TP ability to check inside smokes just because the TP would be closer if somebody's inside of it. So use this in your games, good luck. Now let's talk about this crazy retake lineup for Fade. So you want to go right here on this corner here on 3A site. From this corner, you're gonna notice that there's that bottom left corner tip of that arc right over there. I'm specifying it with my crosshair. Take out your haunt ability and place that hot bar line right there on that reference point and do a regular throw. Your haunt lands right over there and scans all of A site as you can see over here. One way you can play this is you throw your haunt, go right over here and it's probably gonna be smoke. So once your haunt scans people, just start spraying through the smoke. Speaking of fade, we all know that the fade haunt usually leaves a trail and fade can then use her utility to bombard you. Well, do not forget that when you're an agent that can TP, you can get out of these situations, whether it's Chamber, Yoru, or Omen. The trail will no longer be attached to you the moment that you TP. Speaking of TPing, this also gets you out of Cypher Trips, so if you're ever caught in a Cypher Trip, you can just TP out with Chamber, Yoru, and Omen. We suspected that this would also work on Reyna since she can basically phase through reality. So we tested it out and um, I think we broke the game. Whoa, what the heck? Why is it so long? What? Did we... Did we... I think it's what? broken. Anyways, let's move over to Ascent and here's a really cool double satchel ult you can do with Raze for the retake. So you're gonna do a double satchel with your ult, fire your ult right there in that corner, land on this ready night box, and kill everybody else on the site. Your only problem now is that you're in the middle of enemies ready to make you a shooting dummy, but hey, at least you got your TikTok clip. I would like to say though that you should practice this in custom first since this is not a trick that you can do in the first try, so yeah, keep that in mind. So here's a B-side wall that Grim does a lot, so you go right here on these Radianite boxes. Look down and make sure that you're standing on the edge of this Radianite box. From here, you look at this circle just like that. Make sure your crosshair is on it, take out your wall, make sure that it's vertical, then jump and place down your wall. With this wall, you can peek into A main, all you need to do is not whiff, so do your aim labs and take your practices. Oh yeah, this wall also allows you to peek to the entrance of A main, so that's also good. Is that wall too difficult for you? Okay, here's an easier one. Go right over here onto this corner, take out your wall, make sure it's vertical, place it beneath you, just like that. Simple enough, right? And then you're gonna crouch and peek into A main. Your enemies will not be able to notice you here at first, so you should get away with a few picks. Let's move right over to Haven for this one-way KO flash. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're behind this Radianite box. Once you're behind the Radianite box, you can just aim anywhere below that window on C long. Take out your flash, throw it, and you will not get flashed at all. This works no matter where you are on this side of C-Long for as long as you're right behind this Radionite box. So even if I move over here, I don't get flashed. I move over here, I still don't get flashed. So for as long as you're right here behind this Radionite box and you're aiming below that window on C-Long, you should be good. 
Speaking of KO flashes, here's something that Mr. Lowlander said. Do not flash like this when you're peeking out windows, as this gives your enemies way too much time to react. So what you want to do instead is you want to look down the window, pop flash, and this gives your enemies so little time to react to your flash. So most likely, they will be flashed. This doesn't only work on A site by the way, this also works here on Garage, and it also works right over here on B window. This also works on all sites where there's an elevated platform like Nest on Icebox and stuff, so... Take this to your advantage. Okay, last KO trick to stop A rushes. Just stand here on this spot, right here on B site. Aim right there on the wall, and as soon as the barriers drop, just throw your knife. This is a very powerful scan since most of the time they would be standing right there on that door and they would all be tagged preventing a rush on A. Oh yeah, and it also lands at a wall that is not wall bangable, so they can't do anything about it other than stand back. Okay, by now I assume that people don't shoot your clones anymore? Do they? Especially if they hear two footsteps approaching their angle. Well then, let's take advantage of that. So if you place your Yoru clone behind you, make sure to activate it, then you pretend that you are the clone. Your enemy will most likely shoot the Yoru clone behind you. Once they do that, just go ahead and kill them. Sticking with Yoru, let's go right into Haven for this really cool Yoru TP lineup. So you want to stand right here at the corner of this plant right before the round begins when the barriers are still up. From here, you're gonna aim right there at the bottom left tip of that thing that holds the entrance right over there. Aim at that, take out your gate crash, and cast it out. This gate crash then leads all the way to hell of A site. Now, when you're ready, take out your flash, throw it against the wall to mask your TP, and then get those easy picks. Either that, or you can also fake this TP to make the enemies turn around so you can get the easy picks regardless. So, yeah. Here's another TP lineup for Yoru and Haven, so you want to go right over here onto this corner, just like that. From this corner, I want you to aim at the tip of this roof that I just pinged just now. Just aim right there, take out your TP, and cast it out. Now while we follow this TP, maybe subscribe to the channel for more content like this? Please consider it, thank you. Now this TP leads all the way to CT. Now when you're ready, make sure you're facing the right direction first, TP, and get those easy picks off of people who are rotating. If the enemies do spot this though, they might call it out, so do be careful. Okay, since the Phoenix buff came out, here's a Phoenix tip. Go right over here onto this corner on Ascent A site, aim right there on the corner of that roof, look up until your crosshair hits the middle of that bumpy cloud just like that, take out your molly and when you hear somebody take the orb, do a jumping throw. After that, take out your flash and flash A mate. Now anybody who would be on the orb would be flashed so they would go to the corner where your fire is and then your fire would end up killing them. That's because this molly does not only cover the orb, it also covers those corners right over there where enemies like to hide when they get flashed. So, easy kills for you. Now let's stay with Phoenix, here's a really cool Phoenix team play that you can do. Have somebody peek a main just like that and as Phoenix, you're gonna be right here by this window. Once you're ready, throw your flash just like that, the enemies will get blinded and your teammate on a main will get those kills. Now this Sage trick has been overused on TikTok, but I'm gonna add it regardless just in case you don't know it. So as Sage, if you have an operator, plant the spike right over here on this corner facing CT. Now once the spike is planted, if you're able to safely make it all the way over here, so first you're gonna go to CT, crouch under here, take a right turn, and once you're on this wall, you're gonna take out your own wall, Cast it right underneath you and you could be able to peek the spike from here with an operator. Now this gives you a very broken angle on the spike to help you assure the round, so yeah. Staying on Pearl, I'm about to show you some really cool jet double updrafts. So the first one would be here on B link, so you go right here on this box, and then you do a double updraft to be able to peek onto B main. The enemies might not suspect this because they have to peek over there to be able to kill you, and most of the time, if an enemy pushes B main, they're usually worried of anybody on the site before that off angle right over there. Meanwhile on attackers, what you can do with Jet is you can get on this box just like that with one updraft. Then you use the second one to jump off of it and you can peek off onto A site. Get those easy kills, people. Okay, last double updraft with Jet. If you're able to clear mid and get on top of this box just like that, you can do a double updraft and peek onto B link catching defenders off guard. For aspiring killjoy mains out there, here's your time to shine. If you're playing the retake, you can cast your ultimate right over here. And then you go right into this corner just like that. From this corner, look at that tip of that tile on the wooden roof, take out your swarms, and then just do a regular throw. This swarm would land right there on the only corner that the defenders could hide at, which would either kill them or detain them. Once they're detained, just go ahead and hunt them down. Okay, let's head back to Pearl, but this time with Killjoy still. If given the opportunity, plant the spike right over here, take out your swarms, and throw them right on dugout. 
once the spike has been tapped, just go ahead and tap your swarms and your enemies would be going crazy. Good luck using this one. Okay, let's end this with a really cool fake flash with Sky. If you fake your flash like this, then start shooting at your enemies, they're probably gonna turn to you. Pop your flash the moment that they turn to you and you just got yourself a bunch of easy picks. So anyways, that's the end of the video. If you ended up enjoying, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. More tips and tricks videos in the future since these videos apparently get a lot of views, somehow. More views than my lineups, mostly. So, um, yeah, more of this soon. Feel free to check out the other tips and tricks videos. I made them some time ago, but they're still good. Also, feel free to check my Viper setups and Viper guides because those are also really helpful. Anyways, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you. You're a real one. Make sure to comment one way so that I know. So anyways, that's the end of the video and yeah, bye bye Get back in there, get back in there. Get back in your cave, dear god.